This video will show you the basics of navigating with G-Team. If you're a G-Team user, I'd suggest you open G-Team and follow along with your own models. That's one of the best ways to learn. G-Team is a simple web login. You can either open a G-Team account yourself or be invited by another user. Once you log in, you see a list of projects. At the top, you also see information about your account details and help. The support page gives you about all the information you need in order to use G-Team well. Let's get back to the projects page. This page also lets you browse projects. Each project is like a folder with different teams working on different files inside. Uh, every project shows the thumbnails of changes that have recently been made. If you roll over, you can see a more detailed preview of any of these files. It's really easy to start a new project. Just click on the button and name the project. I click Create New Project, and I'm in the Files view. To add new files, all I need to do is select the files, drag them up, and I'm done. If you need to reorganize, just create folders. You can drag and drop files and folders uh, easily and quickly. To select multiple files, just click the checkbox and drag. There's no magic to setting up these projects and folders. Just set them up the way you would in your own desktop or server. Once you've set up a project, just click the Invite tab to add other users. Just list emails, add a personal message, and then when you send the invite, these users can connect to the project. As a G-Team user, you'll always have at least one project. In fact, as a new user, you'll have a sample project automatically created for you uh, when you log in. The sample project has models, images, and plans, and it's a really good way to kick the tires around the basic G-Team functionality. We've already had a preview of what a project looks like, but let's take a deeper dive. When you open a project, you'll notice some tabs across the top. Activity, which lets you see your project history. Files, which lets you work with documents. Sync, which lets you download projects to your computer and keep changes synchronized. And Invite, which lets you add other users to a project. Settings lets you control performance, permission, and administration. You'll first land on the Files tab. Files lets you organize models and documents just as you would in a folder on your desktop or shared server. At the top, you have some basic tools for creating folders, uploading and downloading files, and deleting files. You also get G-Team specific tools for locking and unlocking files, sending messages, and viewing combinations of 3D files in one model. To see the details of any file in your project, just click. You can also download files from this detailed view. If you click on a 3D file, it'll open in the 3D viewer. We'll get into the 3D viewer a little more later, but for now let's just say it's really easy to spin models just by clicking and dragging or zoom by scrolling the mouse wheel. The viewer is simple enough for almost anyone to use, even if you don't have 3D experience. 